Folks, this is the granddaddy of outlet testers. This is the Klein Tools RT390, and we're gonna do a full review on this. Now, if you've got an outlet that you need to test, nothing better than the Klein Tools RT390. So with that said, let's get right into it. Okay, real quick, I'll show you what this comes with. It does come with a soft carrying case. This is really nice, really durable. Inside the carrying case, you of course have your power plug. It also does include a very brief instruction manual that gets you through the basics of using this RT390. And now that we got that out of the way, I will real quick show you the LCD display along with all the buttons and their functions. So of course the power cord is just going to plug right into the top of the unit right there. The other end will plug into the outlet, pretty simple. Now, as far as the LCD display, you do have your status indication of your outlet right here at the bottom. Right now, I'm not plugged into anything, so of course it says open hot. We've got no power. It also says not energized at the top. That's another indication that we do not have power. And also at the very bottom, this is not lit up where it says energize, which is another safety feature showing that we do not have power. Now, big center right there, we have our voltage indication and of course our volts AC symbol right there. It also has the battery level indication. That's for the unit itself. It does operate on three AAA batteries. So that's really easy to power this up and it does last quite a while. Okay, and for our buttons, right at the bottom, of course, is our power on and power off button. Also, it says press to reset next to it. So we'll just have to press this to reset the display after our checks. Right above that is the load button and it will apply a load to the outlet and it will display your different percentage loads on that outlet. And I'll show you what that means here in a minute. The 30 milliamp button here is a way to test your GFCI outlets. That applies a 30 milliamp load onto the GFCI and trips it, and it will give the indication. I'll show you that feature here in a minute as well. And that's the same with the GFCI button here. You hold this down for a second, it will trip your GFCI outlet, and then it will display the time it took to trip it, whether the trip was good, and you can see we did power off. So it does have an auto power off feature. And as you can see right here, it does have the AFCI button, and that is for the arc fault circuit interrupter. That's very, very similar to the GFCI, but this one tests if you have an AFCI circuit breaker on your house. Okay, we've got our Klein Tools RT390 plugged into a standard wall outlet here in the US. Now, as you can see, it does have 121.4-ish volts AC. It does say correctly wired or correct wiring right here. So we know our outlet is actually wired correctly. If the hot was open and it wasn't working, it would show us that. If it was reversed, it would also show us that. So this is a really quick, big indication of how your outlet is doing. Now it does say energized up top there. And also at the bottom here, this is lit up for energized as well. So plenty of indications that we do have power to our outlet. Now, one thing you can also do in addition to just checking the voltage and the wiring of your outlet is the load test. Now this is where the Klein Tools RT390 outperforms all the other load testers. This is a really cool built-in feature for a fairly inexpensive model. By the way, I'll throw a link in the description below Check this Klein Tools RT390 out for yourself. Well worth every penny. Now, to do a load test, we just need to simply push this button. Now, why would you wanna do a load test, you might ask? Well, a simple outlet check will give you the voltage. Now, this is not under load. That means that this circuit doesn't have anything drawing down any kind of voltage or power from it right now. And that's why you want to test with the load button. Now this will simulate through the meter itself a load into that circuit. Now that's gonna be like a hair dryer or a space heater or a couple TVs. It applies different loads as I'm about to show you and it'll tell you whether it passes or fails or what the voltage drop is for that load percentage. So let's go ahead and hit the load. And wow folks, with no load I have 118.2 volts. Now with the 12 amp load I have 109. The 15 amp load, I have 107. And then finally, the 20 amp load, I have 103. That's a significant voltage drop at 12.5%. I may have an issue with this outlet, folks. And that is why it's all in red there. 
I may have to look at this outlet, but keep in mind, the further you are away from your electrical service panel, the more your voltage will drop. That's because the copper in between, between here and the circuit breaker panel is a pretty long distance. So it's going to have more resistance. It's going to have more of a voltage drop between there and here. Now I prefer to not see all red like that. So I'm definitely gonna open up this outlet and check for any loose wires or any corrosion or anything that might indicate that my circuit is malfunctioning or my outlet is bad. But that, as you can see, just let me discover that I may have an issue with my circuit or my outlet. I would have never known that without plugging in this KT390. So this thing is really, really handy to have and you can discover some circuit problems that you clearly would not be able to see with just a regular multimeter. Next, I'm gonna show you something a little unorthodox for testing with this unit, but it is going to demonstrate what appliances around your house actually do to your circuit load and voltage drop. It's also another neat way you can actually check each appliance to see how much power they're drawing and how much they're causing a voltage drop on your circuit. Just in case you need to troubleshoot a breaker that keeps tripping and you're suspecting that one of your appliances is carrying too much of a load. So the first thing we're gonna do is power on the Kleintools RT390. We'll plug that into this power strip. And as you can see, we are pulling about 119.2 volts. That is with no load. Now keep in mind, this is a power strip plugged into an extension cord. So it's gonna be a little bit lower. That's okay, we're just gonna do some math with this test. Now the next step is to hold down the load button. And we're just gonna do a load with nothing else plugged into our power strip. And as you can see, we're getting about 108, 105, and 101 with these respective loads. That's with nothing again plugged into the power strip. We'll go ahead and reset our meter. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and plug in our toaster. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on the toaster and then do a quick load test. Now you can see that my voltage has already dropped, but I'll do the load test. And yes, you can see I've got about 95.4 on the bottom there. So if you do the math, that's about six volts power drop. Now, if this were pulling like 20 volts power drop or much higher than six volts, you may have an issue with your appliance. And that is one way you can actually check appliance loads with this awesome Kleintools RT390. I've got my Kleintools RT390 hooked up to this GFCI outlet, and we're gonna test that out in a couple of different ways. First, I'm going to test it with the GFCI button there. Already you can see that I have 121.5 volts, and it is correctly wired and energized. So we'll go ahead and hold down the GFCI button and it did trip and it took 35 milliseconds at eight milliamps. It does say trip successful. If it said trip failed, then we know we have a bad outlet. We'll go ahead and reset it. We are reset. We can see correct wiring again. We have our voltage. This time we'll use the 30 milliamp button and this just tests it another way with 30 milliamps this time. So it did trip again and it did trip at 35 milliseconds with 31.9 milliamps. It does say trip successful again, so we know that this GFCI outlet is in fact good. Friends, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, check this one out right here. I picked it out just for you. I think you're gonna love it. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button right there. It does something to the algorithm. I don't know what, but it helps the video push out and help so many more people. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.